What's up guys, Synapse here, and I wanna to talk today about indirect versus direct openers, okay? So this is a concept that gets a lot of dialogue in the pickup community. People are always wondering, you know, should I open indirect or should I open direct? And for those of you who don't know, basically indirect would be something where you're kind of masking your intentions. So asking the girl like, um, where is Starbucks? Or how do you read this kanji? Or like, I'm trying to find the station. Any of those kinds of things where you're pretending that you're approaching her for some reason that isn't using your penis with her is an indirect opener, all right? Compare that to direct openers, right? Which would be something where you go up very honest and straightforward about the fact that you're approaching her. You say, oh, you know, I just saw you from over there and I just thought you looked really cute and I had to come over here and talk to you, right? Or, I'm, I'm in a hurry right now, but, you know, I just really liked your vibe and I wanted to come say hi, right? Those kinds of very direct openers basically convey your interest in the girl right off the bat, okay? So what are the advantages and disadvantages of each of these styles of approaching? Indirect approaches can be good because they come in a little bit under the radar, right? So they, they, they are more likely to kind of stop a girl um, she's less likely to shut you down right away. Um, but the downside, of course, is that it's kind of like a bait and switch. Basically, you end up hooking her or you end up catching her interest only eventually to be like, so actually I wasn't interested in Starbucks, I actually just wanted to come proselytize my penis to you. But um, yeah, so just changing the subject now, I also am a man who is interested in you romantically, and if you don't do this transition well, it can come across really like, it can kind of irritate the girl in the sense that she's like, oh, well, we, what was that? You were just lying to me, you just made up like some excuse. So it's kind of weak, right? And I really just generally don't recommend it at all, the indirect opener, at least in that sense of the word. Now, a direct opener is good because it conveys your interest in the girl right away. It takes balls to go up to a girl and be like, hey, you know what, you're really cute. I just wanted to come say hi to you. How are you? Or whatever it is you might want to say. Now, she might respect that. She's gonna be like, wow, you know, like most guys beat around the bush or just try to put themselves near me and have some sort of odd roundabout opener, but you just came up to me with your balls out just said what was on your mind, what you're actually here to do. And a lot of girls will respect that forwardness. Now, not all girls are gonna go along with it. So what are the downsides of the direct opener? Well, these are a little bit more subtle than the downsides of the indirect opener, but I would say it's a little bit much. It, it kind of can be a little confrontational almost in a sort of a good way, but it's like very much here I am to come and game you let's begin sort of thing, right? And while she may feel flattered, it still is uh, very kind of oppositional. It's you and her and back and forth, and it's the guy and the girl, and it's like a little duel, if you will. It doesn't really create a vibe of being together with the girl and creating a sense of community and interaction, um, spontaneous interaction, almost as if it was like a dance as opposed to a battle, right? Now, of the two, if you have to pick between those two, I would definitely say go more towards the direct. Don't invent some strange excuse, some strange reason to talk to the girl that isn't actually real, and then she gets, feels deceived. It's not a good look, right? If you're going to pick one of either direct or indirect, I would say to go more direct in the sense that you don't want to mask your intentions. But my favorite way to open, the way that I open about 90% of the time, is the a third way, which would be the assumed opener, right? And what this is, is basically just talking to the girl, right? Now with the indirect opener and the direct opener, both of them, they share something in common, and that is the need to explain the reason that you're talking to the girl. So with the indirect opener, your explanation or your excuse to talk to the girl would be that you're looking for Starbucks or the station or whatever. With the direct opener, the explanation or the excuse is that you're interested in the girl, right? And this can be kind of a lot of pressure on her very early in the interaction. Now, again, I'm speaking mostly about J Japan, right? In other cultures, uh, you know, such as in Europe, North America, and also in other Asian countries, um, like Thailand or something, something very direct can work very well, just going up to girl and being like, hey, you're really cute, I just wanted to come say hi. 
it can really like brighten her mood and bring up her day. But in Japan, it's a little bit too much pressure on her. So this, and it, and it, it still conveys the fact that you need to explain yourself to her. You need to explain, you need a reason to talk to her. The third way of approaching, which is my favorite again, is the assumed opener. Okay, so what this is basically is to just start talking. If you imagine she's already your girlfriend or just a friend or someone that you know, you probably wouldn't go up to her and be like, hey, I just saw you from over there, so blah, blah, blah. You don't need to create this context around the interaction. Rather, if you, there's somebody you already know, you're, you feel comfortable going up to them and be like, oh, hey, you know, I was just doing this and blah, 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 or you've got this, wearing this or whatever, and you just jump right into the conversation. Okay, so much of game is cutting away, trimming the fat of the interactions, right? So, for example, introducing yourself, like if you think of yourself at, at a club or something, a pretty bad opener in a club would be like, Hello, I am Jim, and I am from the US, and I work at this company. What about you, right? This is a very standard introduction, and nobody really enjoys this. That is like the fat of the interaction. You want to trim it and get to the meat of the interaction, right? So what better way to do this than to avoid all explanation of the context of whatever you're, why, the reason that you're talking to the girl, and instead simply start talking to her. So what could this be? It could be anything from a simple observation about her. You could be like, well, you seem to be pretty tall, but, um, you know, you've got these very petite hands, I'm wondering what's happening there, right? Or it could be something about her shoes or her dress, a bag she's got. It could be something about what you just did. You could be like, I just came from blah, 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 and I'm on my way here to find a necklace or whatever it is you're up to, right? Now, the difference, you might think that that sounds in some ways similar to the direct opener, and it does, especially if you're commenting on the girl. But the difference is that there's no compliment attached to it, and there's no explanation of your interest in her. Rather, you simply are curious about her, about what she's doing, and you decide to talk to her and engage in her, engage with her. So she doesn't get this instant validation uh, that would come from you saying that she's cute and you want to talk to her. But at the same time, she's a little, she's a little curious. She's like, why is this guy talking to me? And you're using that kind of mystery about what this interaction is about to your advantage. It's, a, it's leverage, right? Guys are pretty familiar with the concept of kicking the relationship can down the road in the sense that they'll hook up with girls you know, a couple times until the girl eventually says, well, what are we, right? And the guy will be like, well, you know, like, I just got out of a relationship or whatever sort of wishy-washy thing the guy wants to say. Most guys generally understand the fact that if you're just trying to hook up with a girl, you may not want to be like, let's date right now. Let's marry ourselves, ink it and paper and everything. So this concept is very similar in the sense that you, it is not really to your benefit to divulge the fact that you're already interested in the girl from the beginning, right? In fact, you should let her win you over over the course of the interaction. So simply, uh, the assumption here is that one, it's totally fine to talk to anybody for whatever reason in the public sphere. It is a common society, so why not? Two, she hasn't got your, she has piqued your interest, but she hasn't gotten your interest in the sense that you're not to totally sold on her right away, as you might be with a direct opener. And finally, um, you're just talking as two normal people. This approach is not a momentous occasion that requires explanation. It is simply a meeting of two people in a public place, and they come together of equal value, just chatting, just having fun. Right. So this is the assumed opener. One, you're assuming she's going to open. Two, you're assuming that you don't need to explain yourself. Right? If you imagine a king or a CEO, a CEO walking into his company or a king walking down his you know, boulevard, would he feel the need to be like, hey, peasant, I am the king and I have decided to talk to... No, he would just act, he would just say whatever he wanted to say, right? Same thing with the CEO. He walked in, he sees an employee, he would just talk to them and ask them whatever he wants, right? There's no explanation needed because he knows he belongs there and he is a member of that situation. So there's no need to explain itself, there's no need for excuse or context, just start 
talking. So there you have it, the assumed opener. Now, of course, it doesn't matter entirely what you open with. If you're worried about it, if you're thinking about it too much, just say anything, get in there and talk to girls. Ultimately, don't rack your brain being like, what should I say, right? Just jump in there, say whatever's on your mind, and talk to her, right? Ideally, the, the, the point I want to communicate to you is you don't need an excuse, you don't need a reason, and you don't need to explain yourself when you talk to a girl on the street or wherever they may be. The point of the opener is simply to establish the channel of communication between you and the girl and ultimately not dwell on whatever the opener was for very long. You want to continue the interaction and keep changing around to different subjects and have a dynamic interaction and of course eventually either take the girl home or get the number. So definitely don't stagnate and get stuck in the opening topic. Uh, open with whatever and then continue talking, continue going, right? Keep taking one step after each other and move the interaction along until it gets to a place where you are comfortable with it or where you're happy with where it's going, right? There are a few situations in which I would say a direct opener is still useful. So I said that the assumed opener accounts for about 90% of my opens and I would maybe go direct maybe 10% of the time. And what times would that be? It'd basically be for example, if it's very obvious that you're going out of your way to approach her, like if she's coming head on and you have to like run across the street to go talk to her, you're not going to like run across the street and be like, anyway, uh, right? you, you got to just be like, hey, you, right? Like, I'm interested in talking to you. Right? There's no hiding your intentions at all, right? Even with this kind of assumed opener. So you very much have to confront the fact that you just ran across the street to go talk to her, right? Now this is only if she very clearly has seen you running towards her or whatever it is you're doing, right? The other situation where I would say I generally go with direct over this assumed opener would be um, if I'm in a big hurry. So let's say like I'm going to a meeting and I have like, I have like a minute to catch my train and I see a girl go the other way and I'm, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go talk to her. I run after her and be like, hey, wait, stop, look. I just thought you were really cute. I'm in a huge rush right now. I can't really talk, but um, let's get online and let's talk next time, right? And then I just exchange her with line. And the reason for that is that you, there's no time to kind of have an interaction and kind of stretch things out and get, give her a sense of who you are. So you, your best, most powerful approach is a very, very condensed, very direct opener. That's if you're very crunched on time, very limited in what you gotta do and you really gotta run. Those couple of situations, I would say it's, mo it's, it's, it's better or at least possible to go super direct, right? And then there might be a couple situations where it's best to go indirect. For example, um, if something really just does present itself uh, as indirect, so this could be like, you know, if you actually really, really legitimately do not know where you are and want to find a Starbucks for whatever reason, sure, I guess, go indirect. Or if you are if you happen to be standing, walking on the street and a car crash happens and there's a girl next to you, you'd be like, whoa, like, what is that, right? That's probably not in your mind to approach a girl, but if something random happens that just presents itself as the perfect indirect approach opportunity, then sure, use that. And that would be more of like a situational approach. Um, another example would be, if she's with a big group of people, right, you want to make it, even if you know and she knows that it's pickup, you want to make it plausible to everybody around her that maybe it's just, you know, random communication. So if she's like, stand, if she's on the, sitting on the train next to you with a whole bunch of other people, you know, it would be fine to be like, oh, does this go to blah, 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 station, and then just continue talking to her from there, right, as opposed to being like, you, you, blah, 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 and you can do any of the approaches at any time. Again, ultimately, if it's a question in your, in your head of like, which one of these should I do? Just pick one and go for it, right? Obviously, approaching is much more important than picking the right opener for the situation. But generally, you can't go wrong with the assumed 